Welcome to another installment of Property Vlogs. Today I'm so excited to share with you a tour of this gorgeous three bedroom house by St. Modwin Homes. It's a new build property with a lot of quirky features. If you're curious to see what's inside this beautifully clad and rendered property, stay tuned and we'll tour the whole thing together. Bye. Hi, welcome home. Come inside. Okay, so we are in the entry of this brand new development. As you can see, you've got your front door with the viewing panel and a top light at the uh, at the top. You've got a, a taller than usual floor to ceiling height. I can already tell it feels quite tall in here. And the first thing you're going to notice is this dark kind of um, what is it called? It's probably like antico, very durable uh, tiling flooring that goes all the way across from here into the next room but before we do that let me point out what I'm seeing in this space first things first we've got a fuse board here consumer unit we've got a door a mystery door which I'm going to open and this is our downstairs toilet with the vinyl tile flooring it's quite a nice size as well it's got a window at the front as well with a little uh, silver edging chrome edging strip as well with a bit of tile you've got your toilet there you've got your radiator and your sink by vitra very nicely sized your standard downstairs uk bathroom toilet you've got the doors in the downstairs being this high gloss white finish as well with the paneling details you've got very simple contemporary architraves as well with a shadow gap that continues into the skirting board as well which i love and then you've got your stairs there but before we get carried away let us go into the first room on my right so this is your kitchen guys so coming into the kitchen you've got your window facing the front of the property the sinks right in front of the window which means you're not going to get too bored when you're doing the washing up and then you've got a laminate uh, worktop here as well, which should probably be your standard detail with a bit of an upstand. I love this laminate actually. If you zoom in, Brian, it's really lovely for a laminate. It's got a texture to it and it's quite close to stone as you're gonna get for a laminate. You've got a gas hob as well by Zanussi as well, which um, looks like it's got five hobs, uh, which is fantastic. Five flames and you've got your extract fan as well probably by the same brand and instead of putting the hot oven here they've integrated it in the wall there which is the trend and the thing to do because it stops you having to bend over to lift out the turkey on christmas morning so essentially this space now can be used to fit cutlery pots and pans and it's just a very usable space and accessible to the hob you've got a little corner there for your microwave kettle storage as well so you've got your white high gloss units with these very beautiful chrome handles as well slim line handles and i believe this cupboard is probably going to be our boiler yeah so we've got an ideal logic combi boiler as well you've got your sink there stainless sink by Le leisure you've got zanussi um, washing machine as well so it's not integrated and i think this kitchen will give you an idea of what a standard spec kitchen will look like with minimal upgrades. You've got your inbuilt integrated Zanussi oven as well, and probably microwave or steam oven, and then storage. And I think this is gonna be our fridge as well. Yep, so our fridge freezer, which what looks to me to be like a 50-50 split, could be a 60-40, which is basically fridge to freezer ratio, and more storage and cabinets throughout. And that is your kitchen. You've got your um, radiator, and i think that pretty much concludes the kitchen space as well so coming back into the hallway before we go upstairs we're going to come into this space and you're led into this open plan dining living area so instead of doing the open plan kitchen dining living we're doing uh, living and dining area so in this space we've got a nice sized dining table it's staged as a four seater but it could easily be a six seater probably could even squeeze in a bigger table if you wanted to i love the way it's been staged with these beautiful drop pendant lights as well in this copper effect and then you've got the copper theme going out in the staging but as you know with property vlogs we like to focus on the architecture not just the interior design so as cute as this coffee table is let's also look at the proportions of the space and the location of the amenities we've got 
the central heating kind of tucked in the corner it works really well because you're going to have your sofa here you could probably do an l-shaped sofa and create a tv point in this area they've put the tv aerial in that actual corner but remember with it being a new build you could probably negotiate the exact location of your tv point and sockets with the developer um, because you have the opportunity to do that so the tv point could have been put here or even high up if you wanted to do a wall mounted tv regardless of that we've got our double doors looking at the garden and the garden is quite sizable i really like the size of it for the proportion of the house that we're looking at it's really lovely um, so that's this house and then you've got another window facing the garden again and i think oh actually before, before i forget let me point out what this is oh it's a store and i love that storage is paramount to any home you've got oh wow guys there's a light in this store which doesn't seem to have a bulb in so i can't actually show you it works but it's a store where which a 1.5 meters tall girl can walk and stand and not hit her head under the stair um right so it's quite a sizable store is what i'm trying to say with a, the door the same type of door and the same architrave going back into this corridor space you've got the light coming from that front door and now we're going to go to the first floor so come with me you've got these carpeted treads on wooden handrail and balustrade and i like the way they've staged this i'm really trying not to look at the staging too much but i do like the art and the opportunities to make a feature or a statement we're now in the landing space which is very open to the floor below i like that because you know obviously if you have deliveries or mail you can basically kind of peek at the front door from here without having to go down we've got the landing and i'm gonna choose to go into this room first because it's right next to me so coming into this room i like the proportions of this room so if you come round, i'm going to show you what's in the room you've got your window over there which is facing the front of the property it looks like it's an adorma because it's cut into the slope of the ceiling you've got a sloping ceiling that kind of goes into a flat ceiling and this is a very tall ceiling so that's really good then you've got what looks to me to be a fitted wardrobe wow this is nice quite a lot of space again it's a lot of space and it's full height so there's storage space up there all the way to the top which is more than what you would get if you just put in your standard wardrobe unit and if you wanted you could probably even extend it further or there's like a little nook here where you can put a, a little table and chair your tv could go on this wall if you wanted so tell your developer you want a tv aerial socket there and then your standard you know double bed which can be upgraded easily into a larger bed you, the space is there pretty much so coming back into the corridor space as you can see there this is the bulkhead above your what looks like i was going to say stair but it's not really it's just for the yeah it is actually above the stair so there's a store above the staircase there which allows you to have more storage there which is fantastic um and then coming back into this place let's not skip too far ahead let's come into this bedroom which i think is the primary bedroom and so if you just come around i'm gonna show you what i think about this room so essentially it's got a double bedroom in double bed actually no this is a king wow a new build house staged with a king that's amazing so you've got a king be size bed there which means that the room could probably take an even bigger bed a, maybe a super king if you wanted to you've got a window facing the rear garden bringing in lots of natural light into your space and then you've got an area here for like a desk or a dressing area get ready space or if you wanted to you could put in another wardrobe but would you want to put in another wardrobe would you really need one not if you have this which is your own walk-in wardrobe area so to this primary bedroom you've got these mirrored sl double sliding doors with another floor to ceiling wardrobe fully fitted out which is fantastic and this space has an opportunity for amazing pendant light and a full length mirror if you wanted on this side if you wanted to be really cheeky you could probably put in a little desk here i know it's in the way but it really does depend on you and what you like put another desk here get ready makeup and everything and then go out of your room or you can go and get ready get um 
in your own private ensuite. So in this ensuite, you've got a roof window letting in lots, lots of natural light. The ceiling height is slightly sloped. And then as you can see, it's really high at the top there. You've got a door, which means you can block obviously the steam and you can close off any noises or smells from the rest of the room. And then you've got your toilet, your sink by Vitra, Vitra and then your shower cubicle with the sliding doors. You've got what appears to be a Aqualisa electric shower, so just bear that in mind, it's electric. And then you've got a fully tiled um, shower enclosure and then a heated towel rail, and there's lots of space in this area. Vinyl flooring I've mentioned and carpets. And as you flow through this space, you know, it is such a nice flow and a nice addition. And I really like that configuration for the primary bedroom. So coming back into the corridor, that's our staircase. Let's look at the other room. So coming into this room, this is a single room slash study slash studio slash spare bedrooms slash games room. Essentially, it's a single bedroom with a window facing the front of the property. It's been staged as a single. If you want it to be cheeky, I mean, I am stood in the space that could be a double bed, but we'll keep it as a single because it probably isn't big enough in terms of the technical specifications to be called a double bedroom. But essentially, um, you've got a space there where you could probably put in a desk or a bedside like they've done. And then the single bedroom has its own fitted wardrobe section here, which is lovely. Another full height wardrobe section there. And then we come out of this area now into the corridor again and here is where you find your family bath a fully tiled floor to ceiling bath enclosure this will most likely be an upgrade because normally with bath enclosures they're normally half tiled but um if you were to have oh actually if it has a shower uh kind of a device on it, a handheld device, it will be fully tiled. So this is your bathtub area here. You've got your toilet, your sink and a window. And all of the bathrooms in this house have windows. So, I mean, when you're getting ready in the morning and it's, you know, nobody wants to get ready in the morning when it's like pitch black and you can't see anything. So that's really good to see. And it's great for letting out the steam in the most natural way. Um, I've got a shaver socket here as well and then your heated towel rail and a little bit of a recessed shelf there. So essentially, I think that's the final room on this floor and in this property. And with that being said, guys, thank you for staying throughout the video. If you watched it all the way to this point, double thanks. If you liked it, well, obviously like the video. And if you've got anything you want to shout out, leave it in the comments. And most of all, subscribe to see more videos like this and we'll see you in our next video. Bye.